All right. Uh, hey, my name is Dean Lamb, and you probably know that because you are a member of the channel. And so I've been doing like off and on member streams since the beginning of the membership program. My leg is really itchy because I have some mosquito bites. Ah, uh, but uh, I've just like found less and less time to do them, and uh, and honestly, a little bit less interest in them. So what I thought I'd do anyway, or rather instead, is learn music and put up uh, these long form videos where I learn difficult stuff, and I put that up for members only. So today we're going to learn some uh, Necrophagist. Now, I have a student. I put up a thing on Instagram uh, about a month ago saying that I wanted one or two students, somebody that would help uh, push me in a certain direction, and uh, somebody who's really, really, really dedicated, somebody who we can learn together, study together with, basically. And so I have one person I'm doing that with, and uh, his goal is to learn the song Epitaph by Necrophagist. And if you're not familiar with Necrophagist, they are the textbook example of a technical death metal band. Pretty much all tech death bands now, and for the last 20 years really, want to be them. It, or at least they want to get something that they had. They want to grab onto something that they had. So uh, I've learned some Necrophagist before. I don't think I've ever learned an entire song by them. Uh, but I'm going to give it a shot, solos and all. And I'm going to show you what I've learned so far, and we'll start there. I've already learned a bunch of the song. Uh, well, not a bunch, but some. I, I, th I spent uh, two two days on it. So I spent a morning, uh, and then I spent like an afternoon yesterday. So uh, this is my third practice session on this song. I'm going to show you what I can play. I can do the first part at 100% speed. I can do the second part at almost 100% speed. I'm just going to play the whole thing at 70% and just try to warm up. I haven't really played yet today. So we're gonna try that. <laughs> And immediately fuck it up. I'm gonna immediately fuck it up. Uh, I need to click up a little bit. Okay. Oh, I see what's going on. I put the wrong thing soloed. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, back to the top. Let's we'll see if I can do it. Best thing to do is try not to look at the tab, especially if you, if you already have it somewhat memorized. And just get reliant on the tab. I gotta work on that sweep. Okay, I've got the first 22 bars. I'm going to play a little bit faster um, for you. I'm going to kind of get in the zone here. Let's try 90%, see if I can keep up. Some of it I'm just I'm just really gapping out on. Uh, there's a really wacky part here. Um, uh, where the fuck are you? No count it. Thank you. 
Okay, I, there's no way I'm gonna remember that when I get back to that. So, and the sweep I'm lacking, um, lacking on. Uh, the sweep is tough, dude. Ninety percent. Oops. I'm, I'm getting there with all that. Um, I, I need to fill in some gaps, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I should probably do an audio sync. Oh. Okay. So I, I, I have not... I, I learned this riff a little bit already, but I'm not there yet with it. Um, so we're going to try it. Uh, I'm going to try it at 50%. I try to memorize it. Uh, we're at bar twenty-eight. Uh, here's the thing: uh, <clears throat> each each measure of this song is like a puzzle that you have to figure out. Because uh, they're really they don't feel super idiomatic to the instrument for whatever reason. Even though they're probably written on guitar, some of the stuff feels foreign and weird. Um, <clears throat> one of the things, though, ah, one of the things is. I, I have small hands, and I have a, a extended range guitar, and I'm playing a song that's very technical written on a, as far as I know, a regular scale length guitar. So I have to move some of the stuff up just so I can play it properly and without getting like mad hand cramping like I'm getting right now. So I move some of it up, and I have uh, eight strings, so they play on six. Yeah. I guess I do know that riff already. Um, let me try it with the song. 50%. <clears throat> Don't look at the tab. Okay, uh, I think we got that one. That one's not too hard. Uh, I originally started it like this. With my right hand, you can watch my picking hand here. You might notice I'm doing upstrokes. Oops. So instead of doing that, um, which for some reason I thought that was the thing I should do. I was like, you know what? I should do upstrokes. Up, down, up, up, down, up. I don't know why I thought that. I, I just gave alternate picking, strict alternate picking a shot yesterday. I was like, oh, that's, that's easier. Um, you do need to have two-way pick sending sort of under control a little bit, which I sort of do. 
You can hear some noise, but nobody's nervous. <clears throat> this is the wrong bar. Wrong bar. Come on. Wrong bear. Five, six, seven. Don't look at the tab. I know that in the actual song there's a pinch harmonic in there. Uh, I'm not there yet. So we're just getting the uh, the basics of it down. Let's try from the beginning, see if we can get to bar 32. I'm going to skip the sort of open, kind of clean thing um, because it's really easy and uh, I don't want to spend too much time playing it. Uh, I'll get it when I need to. Uh, from the top, 90%. Let's try it. Fuck that part up. so sick. I'm not there yet with somebody, but I guess I should. I'm not in the band. I'm not there yet. Next part. Ah, I forgot which, to, which fret to play it on. Uh, okay. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I think I can get that up to 100%. When I first opened up that tab uh, the other day, I had that part changed to repeat longer so I could practice it because that part was like kind of tricky. And I changed it to repeat 12 times, and then I forgot I saved it. And so I opened it up again, and I was like, okay, cool, I'll play this. It's a hard riff at 100%. 90% to 100% for some reason this riff just fucking skyrockets. I I'm not sure why. The 10% the difference there is like, Ugh. So I was playing it. I was like, hey, cool. Yeah, it's hitting my limit. It's pretty tough. And then it kept repeating, kept repeating, kept repeating. I looked at the repeats like 12 times. I'm like, what? It's like, no, I did that. I changed it. So it does not repeat 12 times. It repeats uh, once. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's, it's not it's not it's not too hard. I have tackled a little bit of this next riff already. Um, let's take a listen. One hundred percent. Oh my god, get out of here with that five four. <laughs> Okay, fucking so sick. What a cool riff. Okay, so uh Okay. I think that this riff has a little bit more of a open strummy kind of feel to it rather than like a perfect kind of feel like he hits a couple like that that chord uh that octave it's not a chord he hits that octave uh kind of together and i kind of like that sound 
So. So I'm a little sloppy with that riff, but I think it sounds pretty cool. Okay, so there's a second ending. Um, every repetition of this riff changes, actually. So the first run is... Right. So, uh, eighth fret, 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 okay. How does it start up? Okay, cool enough. Uh, let's try it at 70% together there uh, with the countdown. <clears throat> cool enough. Okay, next part. Uh, it's a very simple riff, or similar riff to the to one before. So I'm not struggling with it too much. Uh, eighth fret again. I don't know if I should alternate pick this. I, I kind of like this whole... Alternate picking is faster, though, so... I don't know. Uh, okay, so what is this note here? Uh, uh I'm going to play this real slow. I'm transposing the whole thing as I go, so. Is it that? How would it? Okay, so it's like a transition downwards. Let's try the whole fucking thing there, bud. Real slow, 50%, just trying to get it down. Oops. Okay, so... Uh... Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Try it again. I feel like I'm getting it.
I misread it. Okay. Oh my god. That's a fucking whole puzzle. That's a puzzle, dude. Bar 32. See if I can play it without flubbing it up too much. back to that oh my god it repeats just once oh okay that's fine that's fine okay, that's fine we got this Oh my god. Oh my god. I I got there though. I'm getting there. Or rather I'm getting there. I'm not I'm not there yet. 90%. Okay, I forgot that part, but that's fine. We're bumping it up 90%. See if we can do it. Oh, my God. 
Ah, what do I keep fucking up there? Uh, it's eight on the middle finger. Eight on the middle finger. That's the thing I keep fucking up. 100%. Let's try it. Guys, I think we can get it. Now, the, the tricky thing is not getting it. It's linking it together with everything else. You can play it in isolation perfectly, but once you add it with the other riffs, oh my goodness. Why do I have messages? Go. Go away. Go away. Okay. Uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Let's go back to the beginning and make sure that I haven't forgotten all this shit, okay? I'm not going for perfection here. Uh, I'm just trying to memorize all the stuff. Uh, next part, I'm going to fuck it up. I'm going to fuck it up. Okay. Uh, counting to seven is also hard. How do you play this live? How the fuck does someone play this live? Fuck. Okay. Um, so what do we do today? We, uh, I'm going to keep going on the song because I want to learn the entire thing. Um, what do we do today? We learned some new riffs, and I feel like I got the whole thing closer. Uh, this isn't going to be the typical kind of video where I'm like, here's what I did today exactly. You know, This is just me working on it. This is my practice stuff. If you want, feel free to practice along with me. If this is a song that you want to learn, and just like I do, uh, then just stay with me on this process and hopefully I can enlighten you. Uh, leave some comments, parts that you're specifically working on, uh, techniques and stuff like that, and I'll, I'll do my best to answer those. Uh, welcome back to Dean Attempts to Learn, and I am going to try to keep this train going no matter how frustrating it might get. See you next time.